Hey, it's Francis Mills here coming to you live. As everybody knows, today I have a voice and I'm always going to speak out what's on my mind, what I have experienced things in life. It's my life, it's my journey, it's my understanding and what I hear from the author's mouth and what I see with my two eyes. So, first of all, I like to thank my Heavenly Father to give me the strength, to give me this voice, to rise and shine and speak out. And there is three things I mina, mina dislike. Mount some of our families, relatives, ex-in-laws, cousin, friends. Number one is that carry on, gossip and twisty talk. Number two, big X, the lateral violence. That lateral violence really need to stop that really need to be run as a cultural awareness because family, ex-in-laws, relatives, cousin or friends take side for wrongdoing or because if they know them other people, they don't want to talk to you. That shouldn't. If you know right from wrong, you speak for that person. That's got nothing to do with me. I know that person. What's between you, that's between you, Pluck. Now you get people like that. And I have witnessed and experienced that with people. Some people that can be your family or your friends and your cousin that you see how people are so naive or you can see them for be karyan or them for think like they know them people or troublemakers the son but them for proper strong them kind people or keyboard warriors they will attack you bully you say or look good thing for run yourself down run you like you look like man, you got bullied, but they never, never stop and look at themselves in the mirror. Eh? How they groom themselves, how they make themselves look so beautiful. Because they think like, when all know this can't you speak the truth, they don't like it. Because them kind of people are guilty. So that lateral violence in Mina Nugu for our people. People take a blind eye. They know it's wrong, but no. They're ashamed because they know them people. Because they don't want to, it's not about getting involved. People, please, it's not about getting involved. It's about knowing the truth, know right from wrong. Some of you pull the woman out, oh my God, you know, you, you pull a picking in, you pull adult children. How you pull discipline and advise you for children. And when you get women like me speak out about all different experience, what I have experienced things in life. You plus it or you plus shame. You plus shouldn't be. Because I rise and I speak out. No, this is so wrong. Number three is that lying. Oh my God. You know when people can lie through keyboard warriors or straight to your face. Or they talk about you to their relatives or their family or their friends or whoever. 
that lie. They twist things to suit them. Them kind of people just want to be liked by other people. That is so true. And there was a post out about me that I disgrace a Torres Strait Islander or island woman. Oh my God. Some of you plural gutless people, seriously. So where are all these women? Where are all these women? This person got no, no photo of herself. So you can see really low self-esteem. And maybe the person was drunk, talk shit, tag old people. But at the end of the day, I am me and who I am. And nobody's ever going to take that away from me. Okay? So this topic I want to talk about is when you have experience, for me as a woman, I don't drink alcohol. I know sabi smoke what is suguba drugs. I know sabi smoke cigarette. So if you're a person that non drinker and you have experienced things with people that drinks alcohol, they really, really show they a true colours. They say things to you, it all comes out. It's like all them things come out with pause but them plump. And sometimes they can be so angry the way they speak. And you're a non drinker and you sit there and you listen. And you know, that is so hurtful. That is so painful. Because when someone's going to tell you to your face that that person don't love you, the person describe you, what you look like, and talk about other women to you, and who they've been with. They torment you by you sitting there, and when you want to go for a drink of water or just to have a fresh air or to breathe, they get very angry and they get violent. So a woman out there, have you ever experienced things like that? Because I feel for the future generation for our woman or young woman going to experience things with men or when they're going to be in relationship. Sometimes I wish I could be an angel that I could save every woman. Because when someone verbally going to attack you with alcohol and with so much anger, they show their true self. That will scar you, the inner part of your nana cup. And nobody will never, never understand. The inner part of your scar, you feel it, every part of your body. And when they know you that when you were like this, then when you come like this, now like you're now me, they're ashamed of you. They're ashamed of you because they want to act like, you know, a young man. They try to groom themselves, but when you look at them close, you think, no. Cut that shit. But I never lower myself to downgrade somebody. How that person can down me. 
from my head to my toe. That is not my style. So when you sit there and you listen, you, you, you're freaking out. Like, oh my God, all these things coming out. Talk about, you know, all different women. Talk about this, talk about that. Bashing up this people, bashing up that man, that man. And you sit there and you listen to things like that. And you just feel like you want to run. Because it's just constantly. And they talk shit. They swear. they just so revolting, believe me. You know, I've experienced things like that around people that I've been with and it makes me sick it really does and you can't talk to anybody you can't you feel you're alone you feel so disgusting in yourself that you put yourself through that now when the shit hit the fan, they turn around <clears throat> and they blame you, the woman. You're the fault, but you're a woman that don't drink. You're the woman that is not violent. You're that woman that have concern. Because you never draw the line. You've let people come into your side. Them kind of people just want to be liked. This is so true. But you have to experience that when a woman that don't drink alcohol and you sit and you verbally been attacked by a monster and a violent monster. So a lot of people out there really, really don't know what has happened behind closed doors. I look to the future to mentor a woman out there. It's never too late to get at a relationship that it's not good for you. It's not healthy for you, for your children, for your adult children, for your grannies. It's not. Maybe it's easy for me to say this, but believe me, it took me so long for all that obstacle I had to go through. See, people that, when they attack you, they look for little things that They think they know that will hurt you, but they really don't know you. They never stop and think about the good things you have done or what you can do. They really don't understand that. They don't see the good side of you. They look at the bad side, but the bad side they never live with you. They only listen from their perpetrators, those monsters that say things to make people feel sorry for them, family to feel sorry for them. But those family that give advice, your children, your sisters, your brothers, your aunties and uncle, no. 
You have to have a good life. You have to be perfect. Tick, tick, tick. Then you can give that advice. If you never walk down that pathway, no use give advice. Because man that is violent, a man that got so much anger in themselves, man that drink alcohol, drugs, I tell you, they monsters, they perpetrators, and they very, very angry and violent men. So for all those young women out there, please, Set your boundaries. If you're going to be in a relationship with somebody, communication, you mean a big thing. If you had your man, had a woman before, or a woman had a man before, I want to go focus on a woman because I am a woman. Sit down with manly, you will talk for manly. Talk about the foundation of a relationship that you want to build with that man. How you want to be with that man. There. Respect for you as a woman. Honesty. Truthfully, faithful, and never to disrespect you as a woman. Be honest up front. Because I will share this. That was happened to me when I got to know this person. We sat for two hours and talk about, I talked about, you know, building that foundation, communication, being faithful, what you had before you met, that's it. You know, if you were talking to other men or if you were talking to other women, you speak, now I'm in a relationship, you know, don't, don't bother, contact me, you know, I'm trying to, you know, do the right thing, you know, with this person that I want to be with. That's how it should be. And I have that done for me. But the other party, oh no. He never drew the line. There was me and there was all other women, his exes. And a woman like me, that really caring and support, love what I do. But it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough because some money, them kind, they want you here, then they all, yeah. So women out there, be very, very careful because honesty and faithful, you mean a big thing. This is so true. And once that man go break that cycle. That man will never stop. But when I was there, it was just lies after lies to make you feel good just for that little time. If someone really love you as a woman, as a friend, or as a wife, or as a girlfriend, that you wanna build that beautiful foundation of a relationship, or to be with someone for the rest of your life, that you have something in common. You would never do that to disrespect that woman. 
you would never put your family first before your wife. You know, well, I'm going to talk about this on my other topic because I still want to understand how parents are when they talk on behalf of their children or what do they discuss with their children or, or picking in your listen for a big people conversation. So I tell you, some parent or some adult children, it's like, what the parents do, the children do exactly the same. So, I am a proud AE, Miswe, Ayla Norman, TSI, Karolin woman. So, for all the 80s out there, he's all full of shit. Because I can challenge you, bro. Or think that what I'm doing it's wrong. It is my voice. It is my life. No more same. So are all my lovely people that do understand what I'm talking about. What I'm going to say, it is what it is.